Ah. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Please make yourself comfy for something that's probably gonna be a little frustrating to be quite honest. If we've never met before, my name is Lindsay. I make videos about pop culture with an emphasis on Broadway. So if that's your thing, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I make a brand new video. If you've been watching me for a while, uh, you will notice that this is a very different angle for me. Normally I'm standing up. Now I'm, I'm sitting on my bedroom floor. I filmed a few shots here for the West Side Story video that I made uh, a few weeks ago and I liked it. It's very comfy. It's cute. very casual. What is this video about? Good question. I've been doing a lot of rambling. I don't do a lot of reaction videos on this channel, but I thought this week would be a fun uh, time to do it because I realized recently um, there's a lot of uh, shows, cast albums that I have never listened to ever in my life. I very much acted like it and if you know me in real life, I'm a liar. <laughs> You're gonna find that out real quick. So recently, uh, the new Broadway revival of Company just began previews and so now I thought would be a great opportunity to listen to the cast album from the London production which is like I guess uh, gender switched gender flipped is that the term also all that I know about the plot is that Bobby he or she or they is uh, is celebrating uh, their 35th birthday that's all I know uh, I thought this would be a great time to listen to that cast album for the first time also maybe listen to company for the first time I've listened to a couple of songs here and there because it was just there like one of them was from I know recognize one of them from like Glee I know that much so today uh, I'm just gonna listen to the cast album and it's just it's gonna be a wild time. All right, here we go. Okay, these friends are the worst. Okay, you don't call your friends on the phone anymore. You text. If this, if these were my friends, I'd be like, absolutely not. No wonder, maybe Bobby's not answering her calls because maybe she doesn't like talking on the phone. Have you ever thought about that, Bobby's friends? Maybe this is a nightmare. I don't like having people over. <laughs> Does Bobby have social anxiety? <laughs> All these people trying to come over sounds like a nightmare. I know I'll maybe only listen to like two, three songs, just the overture and the opening and then this and that's it. But this album makes people classy as heck and I kind of get why people like this show. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good harmony. This is a song, like, every time I've been to, like, a gender-bent cabaret, like, this is the song that, like, at least three women do. I mean, I say at least three women because there's three people in the song, because that's obvious. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I know Bobby's 35, but, like, her friends don't need to set her up with anybody. If she wants to be single or if she wants to just, like, kind of wait for love a little bit, that's totally fine. I don't know why that's a problem. Bobby, get rid of these friends. You don't need them. If she wants to wait for the right love, that's totally fine. Her friends need to get a hobby. I hear Zumba is great. This is a song that gives me so much anxiety. <laughs> One of my actual legit fears is that I will have to learn this song for some reason, some weird reason. I hope it never has to happen. But I actually was thinking about doing it for a video. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Would you like to see that? Or can I just you pretend I never said that idea? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I want to put like some like sick like hip hop track under it so I can be like. No, no, Bobby, no, don't do that. No, 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 no. You have to want to marry somebody, not just somebody. See, I feel like that's a given. I feel like people should know that, but they just don't. Okay, listen to me. Listen, this is new information. How is this new information? Or maybe she was brainwashed by her friends. That's also very possible. Bobby, honey, no. Bobby, like twice if you need help. Okay, here's what doesn't make any sense. So, like, these people have been, like, trying to get her to, like, get married for, it sounds like, a while. And then, like, they're like, oh, no, we're losing our third wheel. Make a choice. God, she's gotta get some new friends. Maybe this is a hot take. I'm not really sure, but her friends suck. <laughs> this song is way too long. <laughs> like, if somebody got up to go to the bathroom, like, at the beginning of the song, they could come back and they're like not even into the dance break yet. I mean, they have a point. I guess maybe this is the redeeming quality that they're like trying to set up on with like a good person, not just like any person. But like still, I mean, her friends kind of got like kind of butt out again. Really, any hobby would be great. Scrapbooking is actually very relaxing. Don't know if you've ever tried it. 45 seconds in and like nobody's singing. See, I was trying not to look at Wikipedia, but like Patty the Pwn wasn't belting, so I was lost. Hey, is this like the dream ballet from like Oklahoma? 
Never mind. <laughs> Bobby, come to your senses. You don't have, I know you're 35, but you don't have to get married right now. I'm just saying. Ah. I have no idea what's going on on this track, but I really like it. Oh, I know this song. Yes, okay, now I know it. I was like, lit like listening to it for a little bit and being like, <laughs> this video is just gonna be just 15 minutes of me just doing. Okay, I think the moral of the story, like what like Bobby's like trying to get at is that it you should put yourself out there for for love, but like I guess wait for the right person, but like also you should still pursue love because no matter how it ends, it'll change you as a person and you'll be better for it. And it's love is always worth it, no matter how it ends. And like, uh, I'm good. <laughs> Good. Don't need, don't need to do that right now. Don't hate me because I mean this with the most amount of love. But like this, the curtain call sounds like what I would walk down Main Street listening to, like at Disneyland. Like don't I say that with the most amount of love because I actually really like it that way. So overall, actually, I really like that album. I liked it a lot better than I thought I was going to. Even though like Bobby's friends, I was kind of. Mm, no, I mean, it's probably like what they're supposed to be like. I guess they're supposed to be that very annoying, very intrusive type of friends that like, you know, you probably avoid all the time. But I'm very happy I listened to it. The score is, is, is beautiful. It's great. I kind of got a sense of like what the show is about. Maybe next time I'm in New York, maybe I'll see it. Who knows? You know, I, I get why a lot of my friends like that show. So thank you so much for watching this week's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite song from Company and um, have you seen the revival or are you going to see the revival? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I don't have corona. So don't freak out. Please make sure to like the video and uh, share it with all of your company loving friends. Also, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I make a brand new video. I make new videos every Wednesday. You can find me on my social media down below and I'll see you all next time. Bye! <laughs>